Carol, I am so sorry to hear about your husband's untimely demise. You're the one who killed him, so that's a bit odd, but thank you. He won't be missed. Yup, I'm lying like sh But anyway, Carol, how would you like to go see a segregated movie with me tonight? Sergeant Harris, you forget yourself. You're a married man. A little infidelity never hurt anybody. Carol, you should be flattered at the idea of becoming my mistress. I'm afraid I have to decline. But I do appreciate you whacking my husband for me. You'd rather be a widow in 1940s America? And just what do you hope to gain by that? A bank account for starters. A married man wants you to be his mistress? Unfortunately. And it's Sergeant Harris. Men are the true whores of society. Walking Petri dishes if you ask me. Community dick is the second biggest threat facing our nation. But anyway, ladies, how should we solve this? Carol, the answer is always arsenic. Yes, but before that, why don't we approach his wife? That's a wonderful idea, Betty. Every housewife deserves to know when her husband is knucking and bucking with another woman. Who's to say she doesn't? Oh, perish the thought. Good afternoon, ladies. Are you here unattended? Who's this man? Why is he in my vicinity? Ma'am, please answer the question. It is illegal for women to be unaccompanied here in this diner. You know what? Why don't we discuss this over tea? I've got just the thing. Uh-oh. Do you ever wonder, like, who else is f***ing your man? Mmm, no. And I can't say I ever have. Mrs. Harris, you should know. Your husband made a pass at me. Okay. And just what would you like me to do with this here information, Carol? Mrs. Harris, I'm coming to you as a Carol, honey, men are going to be men. As long as the bills are paid, I can look the other way. Life's easier that way. I highly recommend you give it a try. Oh. What? You're one of those. Carol, define one of those. A maid. Sweetheart, I am Sergeant Harris's wife. In theory, yes, but in practice... I don't think so. Segregated check, please. Judith, may I offer you a segregated cigarette? I spend thousands on aphrodisiacs. Why would I ruin my investment by smoking? Ten out of ten doctors say a pack of cigarettes a day keeps illness at bay. Doctors also recommend women be seen and not heard. Sound advice you refuse to follow. Men prefer women who smoke, you know. Don't you have a water passion? Ma'am? I'll have you know I have not been drafted to join the wharf. You don't have to wait to be drafted to fight for your country. Judith, my heart bleeds red, white, and blue like every other American. But I also have a bad knee. Oh. What? There's one bitch in this room, and it's not me. Ma'am, I'm signing you a ticket. What for, officer? Is this not obvious? Being a woman. Being a woman is a crime? It's always been a crime, ma'am. You should be far more ashamed. So you say. I'm also giving you a citation for being exposed on a public beach. I'm exposed? Ma'am, I can see your bare arms and waistline. Only a floozy would wear short sleeves and shorts to the beach. He was offended by my 24-inch waist. He should be offended he doesn't have 24 confirmed kills overseas. What on earth happened to real American men? They all fought in World War I and left us with these betas. Ladies, we were born in the wrong generation. Oh, so true, Betty. What I wouldn't give to live in the 1840s with real American men. This country is going down the tubes. Happy Fourth of July. Nothing I love more than being a patriot. Ladies, do you have a moment to spare for civil rights? <gasps> civil what? My God. We already freed them. What more rights could they possibly want? They're just greedy. Wait, uh, this man believes in equality. And he was speaking German. What? No, I just... I <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, Abraham Lincoln was the worst president we ever had. The worst president by far. History will not be kind to him. I promise you that. Betty, do you miss your husband? I said till death do us part. And death, like my husband on Saturday evenings, came prematurely. Betty, perhaps he just wanted an excuse to avert his gaze. He would not be the first husband to do so. Oh, please. Pretty hurts, and I am in agony.
then like all animals in pain, you should be put to sleep. But anyway, how will you honor your husband's memory? Before or after I use his money to buy a new Cadillac. Judith, why are you wearing white? You said it was a white party. I was referring to people, not the attire for my wedding day. Well, that's a good thing I didn't get the memo because I'm wearing white. You're wearing some sort of pearl that's not very flattering for your skin tone. Oh, you colorblind banshee. How dare you? This is my segregated wedding and this is my wedding day, Judith. Precisely why I'm perplexed. This is your day, yet you couldn't even stay on theme. Judith, today is not about you. Just who the hell do you think you are? A VIP. Now, where can I procure a glass of champagne that isn't burnt? Two segregated low-calorie milkshakes coming right up! Carol tells me you're comfortable with your husband cheating on you. So long as the bills are paid, that is none of my concern. What if I told you you could pay the bills? That sounds nice, but I don't get a salary for being a housewife. But you do get one as a widow. That Cadillac outside. Mine. This fur coat. Imported. And my aphrodisiac. Foreign. Well, that sounds mighty tempting if I was a shallow, no good hussy. But I love my husband. Love won't stop a lobotomy. Lobotomy? <laughs> he would never. You think he won't? <laughs> Ask him. Do you love me? Honey, I love you more than I love Jim Crow laws. <laughs> and you'd never force me to get on the bottom me, right? Now, honey, you know that depends on your actions. Actions? Honey, this is so simple. Don't do anything stupid and you won't get lobotomized. Oh. Every housewife who gets lobotomized deserved it. You're a good woman, honey, but you're still a woman. Okay, well, the menstrual show meatloaf is almost ready. I want my husband gone. Gone? But I thought you loved him. I love myself more. So how did you meet your husband? We met at a clan rally. <laughs> you know how it is. But I could have sworn you met at the policeman's ball. What's the difference? Political viability. We started talking about the country lacking moral fiber, and both our parents were wizards, so we just hit it off. He sounds like a real dreamboat. Minus the fact he hates you, of course. My husband hates a lot of things. Injustice. Minorities. Justice for minorities. But I never thought the day would come he'd hate me. Honey, I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. He's always hated you. Exactly. So how do you want to get rid of him? 